It is a very, very dusky morning here on Amberstone and on the John Deere farm today. We are going to be harvesting corn. We're also going to be figuring out what to do with it after we've harvested it. We've got a big harvester. Shouldn't take too long. We've got a big trailer. We can hold about all of it at once. And we're going to have a little bit of fun. One of the greatest things as well is this is as good as the corn could possibly get. Uh, it's ready to harvest, 100% yield bonus, and it is fertilized. So we've got everything here. And so I highly recommend uh, if you're looking for new fields, definitely go through and see if you can find one with a great crop in it that's ready to harvest or close that needs no work whatsoever. It'll pay off. Trust me. So stage one is going to be getting the harvester ready. We've got our big John Deere X9. I think it's the X9, is that right? I, I, I've suddenly forgotten the name of this thing. The X9, yes, yes, yes. We're gonna back this up to our corn header. Now this is the first time that I personally have used a corn header in Farm Sim 23. So I'm kind of excited about this and I may say a few things that you may already know, but you can experience this with me together for the first time once more. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I got the biggest header possible. Really? Come on now. There we go. That's why you should always go up in first person. Oh, never mind. That's why I don't do first person at the combine harvester. At least with these. Even in Farm Sim 22, I'll drop the corn header down just so I can see what's going on. Now, with this field that we're heading to right now, you may want to do the top part first. I do have the traffic turned off because traffic uh, can be a bit of a problem and a pain when you're working with fields that are close to the road. Ah, I got right through. There you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this top part first. This is going to get us away from the buildings. There are buildings that are pretty close up there at the top. So this will at least get us away from those. Oh, this corn header is not as big as I thought it was. Put it right here. We good? Line it up. Line it up. There we go. All right. Hire a worker and let them do the thing. Uh, you also want to make sure that you're lined up fairly well of course you can see here the corn uh going one way is a little bit wider i don't know it's like half the din <laughs> density of uh farm sim 22. well again new to me so we'll come through here you can see we've got these buildings at the top when i'm doing grass work they really don't get in the way too much but if you're doing something like this with a big header on it might be a good idea just hit the top man just poosh one one swing at the top and once we've hit that i'm gonna go ahead and fire the worker and we are going to spin them around and let them go long ways so you do want to especially with a worker find the long edge of the field and hire your worker along that that way they're in the field the most amount of time and turning around the least amount of time so now that we've got this let's figure out ahead of time what we're gonna do with it so there are a few places we could take this we could take it to the cereal factory Feed and Grain North and Feed and Grain South. I think for right now, pricing wise, Feed and Grain North would be best. $959 per thousand liters. It's not a bunch, but we'll get a lot of corn. However, we also need to take into account price fluctuations. You can see in January, we have a huge pot. Uh, and in July, we have a huge pop there as well. So. We do need to be careful about what we do in January. It's a little bit higher and January is next in for us. So uh, we will very likely hold this until January. At least that's gonna be the game plan, I think for now. We don't need to do much carting yet, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this bad boy ready to go. I love this. So I did end up keeping the big truck whenever you go through and you get your DLC items. Uh, you get one of each for free in the map whenever you buy it. So. Whenever I got this, I decided, you know what? Let's keep it. I didn't really use this truck much at Farming Simulator 22, and it's a pre-order bonus there as well. So yeah, it's DLC item both places. Very interesting with that. Let's go in. I don't think it needs it yet, but I'll go ahead and line up my truck at the very top, and we'll see if we can get a little bit of carting done up there. Actually, you know what? I need a thumbnail. So we're gonna set that there, grab this, boom out, and let's see if we can line this thing up and get us a nice screenshot. I mean, that's not a bad shot right there. I think I got it. So this is one other thing is you could probably just go up and down if you really want to. I I could honestly care less about trying to get it all in one, in one go. So I think for now, we'll just let that be. I'm gonna reset the truck and probably let the harvester do maybe two passes. 
one pass, something like that. And we do need to regularly dump this out, but I don't think it's going to take too much time. So we'll leave it sitting for now. And dude is ready to go again. It has been four passes already. Believe it. Well, okay. Three passes. He went down, back, and then down again. And, and then now currently he's going back. <laughs> so we'll let him do the same thing again. However, he was getting a little bit wee full there. So we want to make sure we can take care of him. I will also say that carting with the semi truck, actually not too bad. I'm like pressing on and off the gas, like boom, 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 just like that. And it seems to be working a okay. So if you guys are doing any carting or anything like that, that should be an easy way to, oh, I'm lagging. Okay, maybe don't do exactly what I just said, but there you go. And you can always look above and look into the hopper of the combine harvester and that'll tell you uh, how much is left. And in this case, nada. And speaking of, we're about 50% full right now, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna see if I can fill this up. This will likely be the next to last time that we do some carting here. So we will pull forward just like so. And up it out. Very neat. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, doing, uh, doing the corn, this has been pretty good. I mean, it's, it's going a little bit slow. And the other thing is that the pricing for the crop itself is, well, the pricing's not great, I must say. And there's, there's no straw. I, I like being able to have straw. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I like making bales. That's one of my favorite things to do with the game. Nonetheless, uh, we're almost done here. So we will finish up this harvest and then we'll uh, load it up and then make a couple preparations for the future. Ooh, one thing though, this thing is getting heavy. I'm gonna park it on this hill just to show you guys. I mean, it's a small hill. Oh, I can't even stop. There we go. All right, gun it. It's uh, she's slow. It's a little bit slow. As a matter of fact, the the, the truck itself is almost empty, so or almost full rather. I don't I don't know. Maybe pull it forward. Ah, definitely will fill this trailer up. Let's do it. And we're done. What happens to the combine harvester after it's finished up though? Ah, no, it just folds up. All right, well, that works. I am interested as well. What is gonna happen when we get close to the co the uh, trailer up here? Is the header gonna unfold or is the pipe just gonna pop out and be done with it? All right, let's see what we get. What's gonna happen? Oh, pipe comes out, but nothing more. Well, you know what? That'll work for me. Let's go ahead and get this dumped out. There we go. Nice. Ooh. Is the harvester gonna unfill before the trailer? No, nope, no, nope, there's nothing left in here. Well, that works for me. Let's take this, we'll go ahead and park everything back up and then we'll empty out the trailer. And here it is, there is a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch of corn in here, man. Let's bring it around. It's still so heavy. Very, very, very heavy. We'll get it over and then it will uh, unload for us. And it is fast as well. Like. Boom, done. It's insane, that is so fast. All right, we'll check prices real quick. Corn, 44,678 liters. That is gonna be a pretty good payday. It's gonna be a pretty good one as well. But unfortunately, that's gonna happen in January. It is not today. Very, very unfortunate. But the good thing is, next time, oh yeah. Field 17, sorghum harvest, full set, ready to go. Get ready.